writing? Yeah, uh, my name is Luke. Uh, I grew up in Mount Airy, but I currently live in West. Um, and I was really drawn to this. Uh, I've actually been doing some work co-teaching with Ursula Rucker for a while, for like the last six months. Mm -hmm. And so I've been already in the space of like poetry as healing and restorative and transformative. And yeah. so, um, yeah, this I've been really enjoying that energy. And so it just felt like a nice thing to come and be a participant as opposed to a teacher slash support. Yeah, it's great to have you, Luke. Thank you. And what about Joshua? Hey, it's nice to meet you. Um, I'm actually in the greater Philadelphia area. So we're around Norristown. I grew up outside of Philly, but trust me, I'm very local. See me there all the time. Um, I am just a, a writer. Um, I was more active a few years ago, trying to get back into it a little bit. So I was just curious what this was uh, all about. So I just stopped by. Wonderful. Thank you. Natalie? Hi, I'm Natalie. I also work on the Venture Cafe team with um, with Emily, and I, I feel like I know next to nothing about poetry, so just interested in um, coming out and hearing more about um, about the work that you do and, and how I can maybe get more into it. Wonderful. Thank you. Karina, hey, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Hi, everybody. I adore Trapita Mason's work, and I'm here because it's through her poetry and writing that I've learned to write poetry. And um, I'm excited to, to be part of this group and witness your facilitation and support the work. Wonderful, thank you. And Emily, I know you're a host and you're on here, but and we had somebody just, I don't know if it was a Wi-Fi thing, but they just kind of dropped off, but we'll keep it moving. So go ahead, Emily. Yeah, so hi everyone. So I'm Emily. Um, I'm not native to Philadelphia, I'm from New Jersey. Um, but still have spent a lot of time in Philadelphia. Um, and yeah, kind of similar to Natalie, you know, I, I haven't done much poetry work myself, but one of my best friends is a poet. Um, and so I'd love to you know, learn more about kind of that process because I always see that the finished work, um, which I'm a big fan of, but never you know, kind of the process that goes into that. All right. So well, we're going to get this uh, started. It's everybody's game for, you know, um, we'll, we'll take it slow. We'll be kind to one another, but um, you know, it's a little bit of the roller skates of a, hey, Adam, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And once we get into, um, we'll all get a chance to say hello again as we uh, share our poems. So I'm going to get us started. You know, all we need is an open mind, um, open heart, and we'll get started um, doing this. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right, so I'm Trapita Mason, as I said. Let me do the little slideshow thing. Don't we always forget that? Um, slideshow. Okay, so you all know who I am by now. We're going to do a little uh, survey, a little poll in the beginning that we're going to use that activity later on in our writing. We're going to do a group poem activity um, respite. Won't you celebrate with me? We're going to talk about the power of poetry, reflection and reframing, and we'll have a great uh, reframing exercise with a poem that I think you're going to love. And then you'll have an option to choose from one of two writing prompts, um, and then we're going to share. We'll have little moments to share as we go along. But the first thing I want to do, we're going to do a poll. And right now, um, you're going to see the, I'm going to read this out real quick. Uh, the poll's coming up. And Keep this in mind, keep your choices in mind because we're gonna, I'm gonna put it up later. We're gonna use this in a writing exercise. So if someone were to write a poem about me, about you and your life this past year, you would choose one of these options. One of the lines would be, I am an image of perfection, not a hair out of place, dig deeper, oh, the stories I could tell. Number two, I had my highs and lows, but I rode those waves the best I could. Number three, I was scattered all over the place, disconnected and longed to be center. Four, I was laughing, dancing, singing through it all, looking toward the new day. Uh, five, I was an island, isolated and longing. And then another, I was grief stricken. I didn't know when the sun came or went. Remember, we don't know who's answering what. Um, so right now you can answer. And, um, you know, we can't see it and nobody's going to ask you what you stated. We're just going to use it in a poem a little later. 
So we'll keep it open for another 30 seconds. Okay, so I think we have like seven people in the room. Um, you know, we have three votes so far. So if everyone can, oh, I guess I need to vote. Okay. I think only the only the attendees can vote. So if we're fine. we're co-hosts, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just do another 30 seconds. Um, I think everybody got their vote in. Hold yeah. on to what you selected, um, please. And um, just remember it. Um, they're going to be, uh, you'll see them again, and we're going to use them in a poem. So we can end the polling now. Okay, so we had 100%. I had my highs and lows, but I rolled the waves the best I could. All right, wonderful. So that's 100% here. Um, some people voted. I don't know if everybody had a chance to vote. Um, but yeah, so, so as we think about this year, this exercise is really going to force us to think a lot about writing and poetry and what that does and how we can <clears throat> said somehow I didn't vote, but I chose to scatter one. Thank you, Luke. I don't know what happened to the vote. You'll see it again. So let's begin. Um, you know, the workshop is called, this is how we get through. So we're going to, we're going to get through with poetry. This is our first exercise. Um, I'm gonna share this one. It's a group piece, so you know. And 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 I love the person who said, "I've never. I don't know anything about poetry. I never did this before." So I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna be your guide on this thing. There's a Lucille Clifton poem set that says, "Won't you celebrate with me?" So I'm gonna share this piece. It's one of my favorites. I actually have it as part of my joy routine every morning. Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model, born in Babylon, both non-white and woman. What did I see to be except myself? I made it up here on this bridge between stars, shine and clay, my one hand holding tight my other hand. Come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed, has failed, has failed. All right, so in the chat, we're gonna create a group poem. I ask that you that you just write your, I'm gonna um, put the, I'm, I'm gonna use the chat to put the comment in there. Um, do, do, don't hit send or enter yet. Um, we're all gonna do it together. We're gonna do a chatter, a falling chatter, chatter fall. All right, so I have, won't you celebrate with me? If you could put one line or more into the chat box, what you want us to celebrate with you as we think about respite and as we think about this year, what are you coming out of? Don't hit end, send yet, just type it in. We'll take 30 seconds to do that. Won't you celebrate with me? All right. Okay, so Joshua, I just need a nod if you're good. You got yours in, Luke, Adam, everybody's good. Okay, beautiful. All right, now on the count of three, when I say go, you're gonna hit send. One, two, three, go. Okay, beautiful. Now I've done this, the largest group I've done this with was 300 people. And this was crazy because you know, I read the poem that the group creates. So that's part of the exercise. I didn't read the whole thing, obviously. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read this poem and add my own flavor to it. And then I would like for one of you to volunteer, if you feel like it, to read it in your voice, adding your flavor, adding your rhythm, what you want us to celebrate. Won't you celebrate with me the human tragedies and the blessings of the past? Celebrate with me how I'm learning how to feel in and on purpose. Celebrate with me seeing my loved ones and enjoying amazing food. Won't you celebrate with me growing more than I did in previous years? Celebrate with me that I try every day to be better. Celebrate with me to scatter pieces of our beings revealed to ourselves. All right, that's our Venture Cafe poem. Okay. So let's get someone to volunteer, read it, nuance it in your way, your flavor. I did this with some sixth graders this week <laughs> and it was all over the place, but it was beautiful. 
Okay, so let's go. Somebody, do your own thing. Somebody, anybody. Joshua, you look kind of poised to do it. Are you interested? Oh, I see Adam. Who who wants to do it? I, I'll um I'll fill in, but I'd like to hear somebody else do this one. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Won't you celebrate with me the tragedies of the human tragedies and blessings of the past? Celebrate with me learning how to feel in and on purpose. Celebrate with me seeing my loved ones and enjoying amazing foods. And won't you celebrate with me growing more than I did in all previous years? Celebrate with me as I try to make every day a bit better. Celebrate with me the shattered pieces pieces of our beings revealed to ourselves. Adam, you have a great poetry voice. I love that. I love hearing it in your voice. That was Thank really you. special. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. So now we're warmed up, right? We got this. We got this. So now we're going to do an exercise that I used to love to do in human space when we were all together. But I've done it now in this uh, mute virtual space, and it does work. So um, we're gonna do a reframing exercise, a reordering. All you need is your, you know, something to type on or write on, it's, um, but it's more of a listening exercise and it's reframing a poem. Because the thing about renewal, respite, it's about how you reframe this story, right? So many writers are telling this story of 2020, 2021. How are you gonna tell it? Really, you're telling it where you're the center of this story. So. I'm going to go back to our screen and I'm going to rely on the lovely Miss Joy Harjo, who's our current poet laureate of the nation. And, um, and I'm going to tell you about the poet laureate project and all that in the end. Joy Harjo's poem is called Remember. Remember the sky that you were born under. Know each of the stars' stories. Remember the moon. Know who she is. Remember the sun's birth at dawn. That is the strongest point of time. Remember sundown and the giving away tonight. Remember your birth, how your mother struggled to give you form and breath. You are evidence of her life and her mother's and hers. Remember your father, he is your life also. Remember the earth whose skin you are. Red earth, black earth, yellow earth, white earth, brown earth, we are earth. Remember the plants, trees, animal life who all have their tribes, their families, their histories too. Talk to them, listen to them. They are alive poems. Remember the wind, remember her voice. She knows the origin of this universe. Remember you are all people and all people are you. Remember you are this universe and this universe is you. Remember all is in motion is growing, it's you. Remember language comes from this. Remember the dance languages that life is, remember. Oh, wow. What do y'all think about this poem? When you read it, it makes me want to dance. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. So now what I would like for you to do is um, do, this is a reframing exercise. So you're going to, uh, I'm going to keep the poem on the screen. You're going to find one sentence in the poem that resonates with you. You're going to write it down or type it or whatever. When in real time, human time, you know, we would have people circle and we would create a chorus reframing of, of, of this poem. So find the one sentence, write it down. Right under that, um, find a phrase. And for, for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to do a phrase is just, you know, three words, four words next to one another. You're going to write it down. And then you're going to find two words next to one another, and you're going to write that down. And then finally, you'll find one word, and you're going to write it down. And you're going to put it all together in that order. You can share it in the, in the chat. And I will ask, please, a volunteer or two to read theirs. And this is what I chose. They are alive poems. Know who she is, black earth skin. So we'll take a, let's take two minutes to do that.
We'll take another minute. I'm just checking out the time. Okay, can we get a okay from folks? If because I can't see your faces if you're done. Thirty seconds. I think uh, the majority of us are done. Okay, wonderful. All right. So you can put it in the chat, and also it would be wonderful to hear it in your voices. What do you, you know? This exercise is really kind of cool. I've done it with so many different poems. The way that it's done in person actually is um, you go along and around. Everybody reads their first their first sentence, then their phrases, then their two words, then their one word, and it's really beautiful when it's done in person. But I see some in the chat. Let's get some folks to read um, what you have. I love these. So um, now that we've gotten to know each other a little better, you mind just reading it in your voice? If you don't, then that's okay too. I'm happy to read. Thank you, Luke. Yep. Uh, remember the plants, trees, animal life, who all have their tribes, their families, their histories too. All people are you. Remember sundown, motion. Wow. Isn't that lovely? I like to take this whole poem and just turn it into your thing. Okay. Do we have another volunteer? Karina, go ahead. Remember the earth whose skin you are, plants, trees, her life, language comes, wind. Mm, lovely, lovely. Okay, anybody else? Sure, I might as well. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> um, remember you are all people and all people are you. Talk to them, listen to them, remember. Wonderful, thank you. All right. Anybody else? We'll do one more or two. I'll go. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Emily. You go. <laughs> yeah. um, remember, you are all people and all people are you. Form and breath. Life also. Dance. Nice. Okay, Natalie. Do the same first line as Joshua and Emily. <laughs> Great okay, message. It's like, all right. Remember, you are all people, and all people are you whose skin you are, their history is alive. Hmm. All right. Okay. Adam, did you want to do it in your voice? And I don't want to, I'm not putting anybody in the spot. I just, I'm about to sure. do a, a quick exercise sure. with this. Mm -hmm. Remember the dance languages, her voice, form. Hmm. All right, so now what I want to do, without calling on you, I would like for you to just do it in order. I would like to have Luke read, and then Karina, and then Joshua, Emily, Natalie, Adam, just kind of flow after each other. Let's, let's deal with this rhythm in the words, because there's something meditative about that as well, right? All the remember, remember, remember. So we're going to do Luke, Karina, Joshua, Emily, Natalie, Adam, and let's go. Remember the plants, trees, animal life, who all have their tribes, their families, their histories too. All people are you. Remember sundown, motion. Remember the earth whose skin you are, plants, trees, her life, language comes, wind. And remember, you are all people, and all people are you. Talk to them. Listen to them. Remember. 
Remember you are all people and all people are you. Form and breath. Life also. Dance. Remember you are all people and all people are you. Whose skin you are. Their histories. Alive. Remember the dance languages. Her voice. Form. Remember, remember, remember. Thank you. This is one of my favorite exercises. This is like a trapeza special um, that I carry. That's one of my toolkits. If you haven't figured it out by now, I love prompts and exercises and helping people get into poetry. All right, so now we've warmed up. So, you know, I'm taking you on a journey now. So some of you are already, you're writers. So we're getting ready to write. Okay, we have 30 minutes and we're gonna either do a one gorgeous, gorgeous poem or two very beautiful, attractive poem. All right? Okay, so I'm gonna explain things first and then you will have an option. We have time, you might be able to do both. And then we're gonna take like 10 minutes to write. I haven't figured out how to get my music working on here well. So if somebody has a cool jazzy kind of soundtrack while we write, that's cool too. All right, this is the short writing exercise. I'm gonna save this for the end. I'll come back to this, it's kind of like our ending. Um, this is one of my favorite things, uh, these emotion wheel, um, but we'll come back to that, we'll end with that. So you have two opportunities uh, to create. And uh, once I'm done this, I'm gonna stop sharing so that I can put the prompt in the chat box so that you, the chat feature, so you'll have it. This is a poem that I created called, and a prompt, all these prompts are prompts I created. Uh, this is called um, About This Voice. So you have a choice of creating your own About This Voice poem. The thing about prompts is they're just starters. They are inviting you to just get in there and do your thing, do your magic. But a prompt is also begging you to add another flavor, add your own flavor. So um, some, so in every exercise that I do, there's an option for free writing. So you actually have three choices in the next exercise. You could do all three, you could do one of these prompts, um, or you could do two of the prompts, it's up to you, um, or free write. So this is called About This Voice. You're just gonna follow the blanks here and you're gonna fill in you're gonna change some words, you're gonna do whatever you wanna do and make this girl gorgeous. About this voice. So this is just my quick example. About this voice, it's my own now. It's a beautiful bellow, it booms and echoes. So I tell it, say your own stories. What I need them all to know about this voice is it won't be silenced. In the morning, it is a sweet praise song. In the sun going down, it is an evening psalm. Be a bullhorn, I tell it. Speak to the bullies. Tell them you don't have a place here. Be a fist, ball yourself up and tell them stop. Be a song, be gospel, be jazz, be a whispering, be free. Tell them this voice belongs to me. About this voice, you've got to tell them all. Say, this should be this, I'm sorry. Say, this voice has saved me, so I must speak. All right. So that's your first one. I'll put the prompt in the, in the box. And this is a, a spelling error here. Your next prompt, remember the poll that you, the survey that you all did and you picked what you wanted to pick? The one, two, three, four, or five, any one of these, we're gonna create a poem, we're gonna do an activity. Your uh, activity is you're gonna write a poem eight lines or longer. You're gonna use the prompts below to help you draft your poem. Um, craft draft the poem that you create are gonna these lines can be anywhere or you can follow these lines as you wish so the first thing is you're going to use one or more of these prompts so if you had I had my highs and lows I rode those waves the best I could I'm going to put the prompt in the chat as well you so you have to use one of the prompts in a poem you have to use a nickname in a poem yours or a relative you have a relative named Fancy or Smiles or Little John or Boo or whatever. It has to show up in the poem. You also have to include a favorite meal and the meal maker somewhere in the poem. Aunt Tina's sweet potato pie, Uncle, Uncle Bobby's barbecue. You're going to include a line about what helps you feel better, renewed or healed in the poem, something. You're going to include a short quote, a saying in your family or inspirational message. 
then you're going to include one wish for yourself, then one wish for your family, one wish for the world. Okay. And your third option, this is a juicy, right, Karina? You're like, yeah, I love it. Your third option um, will do the won't you celebrate with me one line. It has to appear somewhere in the poem. You can free write about anything you want, but you have to use won't you celebrate with me in the poem. We're going to take uh, 10 minutes um, as I'm chatting. So talk to me. Um, you know, talk to me, ask questions as I'm doing my pasting um, into the chat. If you have any questions about any of the of the prompts that I'm sharing, just let me really know. Really drawn to the second prompt, um, the lines one through eight. I am interested in locating what we're seeking. I'm interested in locating those sentences and like mining them and bringing them to the surface. That, that prompt caught my eye. Okay, beautiful. Anybody else? So I'm putting that in here now about the, this is the um, about this voice one um, that I'm putting in the prompt. So you'll, you'll see that next. This is, okay. So that's the about, about this voice prompt. I don't know what's happening. Are you able to see the whole prompt? Okay, why yeah, is it shortened on my side? Can you see the whole thing? Yeah, I think we can see the whole thing. Yep, okay. Beautiful. I don't know why it's looking kind of kooky on my side. Okay. You okay, so that's the one prompt. Um, you could choose to use that one. And then I'm gonna give you the other one. Not much of a comment on the prompts, but I'm very curious how this turned out with sixth grade. That sounds exciting. <laughs> Which one? The about this voice? Uh this section that we're about to do. Uh it was interesting. I've done it with um younger kids also. I had a residency at a, a school that I really loved that school for a week. And, um, you know, I was pulling everything out the toolkit. They thought it was beautiful. And they, you know, these kids, they humored me. <laughs> you know, they did what they needed to do. Um, so that's that. And then I'm also going to paste, I don't need to paste the example. You guys got it, but I will put in the, um, the, and you don't have to select the, um, you don't have to select the survey, you know, the one that you chose when you did the poll, you can select anything. Um, when I've done this with other people, I changed the questions around. So with the sixth graders, we were talking about, the whole thing was about the pandemic. So we, those, those survey questions were designed around that pandemic. All right. And then there's the, won't you celebrate with me? So we got all our prompts, any questions? All right, Emily, you got some music queued up over there or no? Anything we can hear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I could throw something on, but all right, so let's start writing. We have 10 minutes. Um, choose one or the other. <laughs> For some, I think it's really loud for some people, but I love the music. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it was like way down. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Weird. Oh. Chifiti, you're more than welcome if you'd like to share from your end. Yeah, no, I'll let people work in silence and, you know, we'll, we're talking about respite and renewal. So uh, we, could, we could do that. We have about 10 minutes, so we'll create. 
And if you could, if you want, you could turn your cameras off. You could do all of that. I'm going to turn mine off for a second.
We have about five minutes. Okay, so let's take another minute. Uh, as I said, these are just little invitations and you can certainly finish them on your own. Um, we'll take another minute so we'll have time for sharing and, and final, uh, not goodbyes, but see you laters. <laughs>
Okay. So, how we do? I like the thumbs up. Okay, so this is a part where, you know, someone, who was that, Joshua, did you ask me about the sixth graders? Yep. Somebody, yeah. So I'm going to say this, the sixth graders share their poems, though. <laughs> And, um, you know, so I'm hoping we can get some volunteers. I like to do this kind of, you know, open mic thing. So everyone who's interested in reading, just kind of give me a thumbs up and I'll put your name down and I'll call on you. So I have Karina and I have Joshua. Anybody else? Emily, was that a thumb? And Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Adam. Oh, everybody's reading. Oh, throw the pen away. All right, I'm just gonna call on you. All right, let's do this. Let's let's get ourselves centered for our reading. Sacred space, voice honoring. Let's go. All right, so I'll call on the first right. Um, let's start with Karina. Thank you. That was an incredible journey. I had my highs and lows, but I rode those waves the best I could. Thea, come quick. We're ready to learn. Teach us how to make your biscuits, the ones that are perfect, browned and fresh from the oven. Biscuits that nourish us for the long ride and guide us in riding waves. Waves of emotion that become wisdom. Wisdom that becomes our knowing. Knowing that it's safe here to let the beauty we love be what we do. Thea, thank you for showing us how to savor and for always wishing me well. Wishing for our family, a focus on well-being, a blessing, a wish that we share our delicious gifts with the world. We are blessed. Wow. Karina, that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I've been loving poetry because of you, Tropita. <laughs> As I'm honored. It's beautiful. You really need to do something with that. It's really special. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's move on to Adam. Okay, all right. Maybe I'll edit this in real time. I was distant. I was scattered all over the place, disconnected. Grandma and Tingles were stricken with grief. They longed to be centered at one with me, but I was an island isolated, lost. Mm. The nurse remarked something and I sat up to correct her. Baby J had returned. Of course I didn't die. Everyone thought I would, but I knew better. Mm. Goonies never say die. But I wish I had honored my shattered soul then. Mm. Maybe while laughing and singing and dancing my way through the pain. But I wish my family had never had to suffer. I wish the world, the world's illness would be cured by my sacrifice. Mm. I wish I could trust people again. Wow, Adam, stunning. Wow, I thought y'all were saying you weren't, do we have, I think these are all poets on the line. Wow, that was amazing, beautiful lines, uh, it, it's all, I love what you did with the prompts from the, the poll. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Whew. Let's go to Emily. All right. Let me put it in the chat too. Mm. It, that didn't capture the, that's fine. I won't put it in the chat. I'll just read it. Mm -hmm. um, about this voice. It is a flamingo on one leg, a measured breath, a song. So I tell it to exhale, unwind. What I need them all to know is this voice is ready. In the morning, it is a deep exhale. In the sun going down, a beacon. Be a bullhorn, I tell it. Speak to be heard. Tell them you matter. Be a fist, ball yourself up and tell them enough. Be a song, a revolution, a whispering. Tell them you are here. About this voice, you've got to tell them all, say, I am not going anywhere. Mm, mm, power, speak to power. Thank you. Beautiful, Emily. Wow. 
a flamingo on one leg. There you go. That's how you know poems have punch and power, right? Can you remember everyone's lines? Okay, Joshua, let's go. Yeah, so definitely not right, but I'm happy to share what I have. Um, let's see, I chose the same one Emily chose as well. Um, about this voice. About this voice. It's spoken in short flight. Uh, rightful ple pleasure to hear. And that's right. So I tell it, to open ears you go, what I need them all to know about this voice is that it speaks to me for itself. In the morning, I discover it. In the sun going down, it leaves me restless. Be quiet, I tell it, whispering better judgment. Tell them, and I tell it, it's relentless. Mm -hmm. Be a fist, ball yourself up and tell them, I guess you stay. Be a song, a guidance, a whispering, tell me when I'm wrong. About this voice, you've got to tell them all. Speak to me in my mind. It's not your call. Mm, all right, Joshua. I love the lightness and the heaviness, the balance in the poem. It's really lovely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so Luke. All right. I also, I chose the same prompt, so uh yeah about this voice it's trembling and hatching and womb wet so i tell it welcome back into the world what i need them to know about this voice is its ancient echoes are suspended timeless in the morning it rattles dewdrops. in the sun going down it hums elegies between pursed lips be a bullhorn i tell it Speak to those yearning for something they cannot place, cannot name. Tell them to feel their sacred roots, tickling their unchanging essence. Be a fist, ball yourself up and tell them we too can unclench and expand. Be a song, a fluttering melody, a heartbeat's ritual rhythm, a whispering. Tell them they are more than the fears that keep them from challenging the integrity of their shell's calcified wall. About this voice, you've got to tell them all. Say what only what can only be shared from one who has departed, then chose to be incubated anew. Mm -hmm. All right, Luke. All right. Hums elegies between pursed lips. Thank you. Wow. Power punch poetry. Just beautiful stuff. I feel like I'm at a poetry reading. And a really good one, you know, because <laughs> we know about those readings. Uh, thank you. This was absolutely lovely. Um, just thank you. I have one quick thing. It only takes a minute. And then I want to hear you all just say your one word for what you're taking into your next day. So uh, my one quick thing that I'm going to show you, I see we have visitors. I think they're coming in for the next class. But hey, visitors, y'all can do this too. Um, so you have this wheel. This is an artist. I always forget his first name, but the last name is Gasser. And this is an emotion wheel. Oh, let me do this. Sorry. Slide from the beginning. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know how that goes. Okay, we're going to end with this. So this is a chat thing. Everybody on here can do this. This is an emotion wheel. So consider your, your unique perspective. Reflect on how you're feeling now as you consider the days and months ahead and complete the following poem. Today, I feel, you're gonna choose an emotion from the wheel. And then the next line will be, but I embrace or, and I embrace. So I did, today I feel inspired and I embrace crossing new borders. Today, I feel worried. And I, but I embrace change. So your first line is coming from the emotion wheel, your word. So we we'll just do a minute because we got a sign out of here soon. Um, you pick your word, today I feel, and then, but I embrace, or, and I embrace. And that'll be how we end. And everybody can see the wheel okay? Good. Yeah, we can see it.
Okay, when you're ready, you could just type it into the um, into the chat. Okay. Did everybody pick their word? Some of these words are heavy, right? Insignificant. Detestable. But then you have joyful words. Happy. Powerful. Optimistic. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop the share for the wheel. And um, I'm going to put our prompt. Hi, Angela. We get to meet face to face. Um, nice hi. to see you. <laughs> hey, great to see you too. Man, this has been really good for the soul. I know it was for me. Um, so here we go. And we're going to get everybody to give their one word. All right. So let's go around. So you're going to read what you have. Today I feel whatever, but I embrace whatever. And then, you know, then you're going to say one word for how you, how this class made you feel today. So since I can see you all, let's start with Joshua. Today I feel proud, but I embrace conflict. I would say this class made me feel um, more interested. So I think that's success. Wonderful. Thank you. Adam? Today I feel optimistic and I embrace skeptical. And I feel like there's something, I feel satiated in my soul. Oh, wow. I love that word. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Karina? Oh, you mute it. You feel silent. <laughs> and that was the most important thing that I know. <laughs> today, I, today I feel happy and I embrace surprise. Mm -hmm. And the workshop made me feel inspired. Wonderful, great. Emily? Um, today I feel inspired and I embrace the dawn. Um, I think this made me feel very open. I feel like I could go like hug a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, and Angela, I don't know if you had a chance to do it. I didn't have a chance to do it. Awesome. Um, but I mean, just coming into this room, I feel like invigorated by this amazing energy. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, today I feel vulnerable and I embrace the transformative power of tenderness. Hmm. Hmm. And um, yeah, I would say this period of time and sharing this with all of y'all has definitely been uh, anchoring into tenderness and openness. Wonderful. Yeah, so thank you everyone. We, we're ending on time because there's another class coming up right now. This has been the highlight of my day. Um, thank you for sharing in the poetry and your openness. It felt like we were all in the same room together and I appreciate all your words. They were absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Take care, everybody. I know thank you so like much. Yeah. I'm gonna drop all. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Shuki. This is really wonderful. Welcome, I loved it. Thank you.